Today, we're going to look at what network time is and how it can be used to develop game mode from your wet dreams. Not roleplay, of course, on Alt-V multiplayer platform for GTA 5 that values its developer community. Network time is an exotic but useful and not obvious thing. Let's start with an example, synchronizing time of the game. Try to think how you would sync it. Most likely, you're gonna emit periodic event from server to all clients, but it's already done by Alt-V just for you. Let me show you. On the server and client side, there is a net time getter. Depending on which language you use, it may look different. Let's see how it looks in Rust. Don't worry if you don't know the Rust language, all the code shown here can be easily translated to other languages, especially JavaScript. What does it return? Let's start the server and have a look. Let's add some timers to see how the returned value changes. Turns out it returns milliseconds from server start. How are we going to sync game time? Network time is always increasing, but in the game, we need to change night to day, day to night. We can divide the network time into days. For example, every 10 network seconds is 24 game hours. And finally, let's code the game time synchronization. Let's define a constant containing the network milliseconds required to go from zero to 24 hours. Sync function, here we will convert the current net time to game time and apply it using the set clock time native. Let's define function for translating net time to game time. It will return hour, minute, and second. At first, we need to convert it to a float. Then we extract the current part of the day. For example, if net time is 15 seconds, here we get five seconds. The next step is to extract the hour for which we normalize the current part of the day. If it were five seconds, the normalized hours would be 0.5, extracting normalized minute from fractional part of hour, and the same for the second, returning hour, minute, and second as integers. Applying game time. Output to console. Now, let's define the entry point. For testing purposes, we will synchronize the game time every second. Let's test the code in the game without a second player yet. The time of the game is synchronized every second, as it should be. Now let's replace interval with every tick. And finally, synchronization test with two players. This is all for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Now you know how to use network time. Thank you for watching.